did not written in your law. I say you are God. If he called them God, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, challenge it, abolish, reject it, annihilate it, annule it, suppress it, just put it, or recuse. John chapter 10 verse 33, 34 and 35. This verse is the only decree of the Bible. In the whole Bible, there is just one decree making us God, which is also called Son of God, which is immortality through the book. In this video, we are going to deal with the definition of Antichrist. Also show that Antichrist is already there here now, according to the scripture. There is an infinitesimal definition of what is an Antichrist. We see it in John chapter 10 also here the antichrist is also called a robber the same is a liar a destroyer John chapter 10 the chief come not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy this verse is clear the antichrist is not just a murderer but a great liar and is ready not just to kill to make his lies prosper become friction but it's also ready to lie us on any visible thing any hearty thing using a such amount of incredible propaganda to also lead us to death by suicide for there inside our heart an infinitesimal molecule of truth that mismatch with anything we see from the overwhelming lies of this Antichrist. John chapter 8 You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. He abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he is a liar and father of it john 10 and john 8 are the definition the easily receivable definition of Antichrist, which is then a liar and truth is lies a murderer. The Antichrist kill much more, even much more, through his lies than through war. Also being a war person. There is a sacred worship of the dinosaur. Every war, the first world war, the second world war, and the third coming war, which is Armageddon, Gog and Magog, comes from the dinosaur 
on so-called leisure time. John, Job chapter 3 Let them cause it that cause the day when ready to raise up the Leviathan. This verse, second verse of Job chapter 3 teaches us that there is a worship of dinosaur which is Leviathan, Behemoth, Dragon, or Serpent, Devil to lead the whole humanity into mourning. The lighting in war to enslave and murder and bring all humanity, all the one mankind into unhappiness. Psalm 68 rebuke the beast of the reed, the assembly of the strong, the multitude of the bull, which with the calves of the people trampling on their foot, till every one submit himself, being humble, humbling himself with pieces bar of silver, scatter you, the people, nation, that delight in war, in conflict. Psalm 63, 68, verse 30, here, teach us what we have already seen in Job 10, the first verse to be not here, that the Antichrist is a robber murderer, Job 10, John 10. Also in John chapter 8, verse 44, the Antichrist is a liar, as such among that he becomes a murderer. Through direct murder and through lies meeting people onto society, which is the first cause of death between the 15 people among 15 to 37 years old that had tripled this last three decades from all lying movies, lying wonders. The third verse to note was Job chapter 3, the sacred worship of the Leviathan. And here the fourth verse is Psalm 68 verse 30. You see all this knowledge nowhere. So I hope you should appreciate. In Psalm 68, the key for the understanding is the golden calf. Calves is the calf, the golden calf. The ancient golden calf in the wilderness in Exodus chapter 32, which is the worship of silver. Silver is the same more sculptural than gold. Gold is the same more than money. Silver, money, and gold in the Bible means money, the worship of money, literally. The assembly of the strong. Strong means a giant. The same giant and in the past, which were war people. In the book of Baruch, they are called the lighting in war, expert in war, the giant. Also in the book of Genesis chapter 6, Baruch 3, Genesis 6. And Psalm 68 literally say the light in war. So there can be no misunderstanding here. So when an Antichrist is killing anyone in Gaza, in Middle East, and anywhere on this earth. It's for him the fullness of glad and joy. Ezekiel chapter 38 teaches us that the false Jew Ashkenazim Palestine is the leader and the chief 
of Babylon, which is Gog and Magog Antichrist, also called Meshach. Psalm 83 verse 1 teaches us that there is a great conspiracy worldwide led by Ashkenazim, Falsio. This is confirmed in Revelation 60, 16 that teaches us about the new world order under the leadership of Ashkenazim Valjo. First John chapter 2 teaches us that openly, plainly and clearly the Antichrist is already there and was even there at the days of the Apostle. Since this is written by John Apostle. Paul Apostle in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 also said the same, the Antichrist, which is the opposer, the tempter, is already there right now. We will develop all this in the next video. I will be grateful to anyone to like this video, also to share it, to let anyone know about this unusual knowledge. We know also in Revelation 18 that will be developed. Revelation 18 Babylon In her was found the blood of prophet and of saints and of all that were slain upon the herd. This verse is clear. Any murder of any amount of savagery is Babylon under the rulership of Ashkenaz first Jew according to the scripture. Ezekiel 38 teaches that clearly Ashkenazim, also called Meshek in Psalm 120, is the greatest murderer ever.